All right, got ourselves a beautiful day to do some ocean fishing. Uh, looks like it's supposed to be pretty calm until about 11 o'clock. So, the salt and Zach, let's go head out there, see what we can find. It's been a slow fall for surface-based stuff, but let's see what happens. I wonder if I'm gonna regret not coming with bait. That's all I wonder today. Didn't see much on the beach, but I'm gonna troll this um, swimmer lure for about a mile. Head out to some structure and see if we get any bites on that. Just toss it out behind me. And maybe we'll get lucky. It's been quiet on the surface stuff, so that's why I'm not really expecting much. All right, it's been quiet on the surface. So that means we gotta go down to the bottom. Maybe we'll get a sign of life on the surface later. It's very possible, but right now, it's not happening for me. So. I'm gonna do some bottom bouncing instead. Hold on. See what this Komodo can do. Go a little tighter. I'm not as familiar with the drag on this guy, but I think I've got him where I need him to be. fish here. Yeah, buddy. I think I left my lip grippers at home. Oh, there, good. It's gonna need these. Nice. First bite. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, 
buddy. Open your mouth a little bit. Gotcha. Thanks. I got a one ounce jig head, striper eye, and a four inch, four and a half inch paddle tail. It's getting busy out quickly today. King mackerel tournament or something like that, probably. Okay. That's a nice fish there. All right, pal, that water's cool. So, I think a lot of people would go offshore today. Oh, no. Come on. There he goes. Come on. I should have plunged him. There he goes. Let's see you. bass Ooh, great trap it's a little weak fish usually They'll show up around now. Biggest ones being around in the winter typically. Spend a minute or two on the area and then I just keep moving. That's how I like to do this. Doesn't really matter. You know, structural hold fish or two, a couple fish, and then gotta keep moving. Be efficient. That's no great trout. It's much larger. Oh gosh. Nice one. Okay. All right, caught two drum, jigging some bigger stuff. Um, I'm gonna hit one or two other spots quick with the bigger paddle tails. Now I'm gonna switch it up to like small jigs and crabs. Uh, try to catch fish we can eat, you know? So, uh, it's not a bad start. Good thing about drum is you really don't need heavy structure for them. You see something on the bottom, you can stop and start jigging. Like right there, I'm starting to see stuff. So, I've got structure nearby right there, but I have catch drum on this sort of stuff all the time. I think we got one. Yep, we got a toadfish. That's what we got here. Big old toad.
prime ocean catch right here. Get your five minutes of fame, Mr. Toadfish. We got something here. Oh, 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 oh. That's bigger than a toadfish, I think. I like this uh, jigging setup. I'm digging it. Oh, yeah, that's all drum on the bottom right there. We could try crabs and maybe get a black drum or a sheep's head to eat. But I think this is what the situation's calling for. Red drum on October morning. Nice. Hey, drum. Hey, drum. Thanks for smacking my paddle tail. Oh, he might pop off. I'm starting to... See? I had a feeling that was going to be the case. I seem to be like mid 30 inch drum right now. 40 inches are probably not far behind or they're around, but seeing this class of fish right now, which is still fine. Awesome. Yeah, this is why people say drum are no joke. So, first two drum, I'd land no problem. Look at the jig head after that one. Um, if they have a certain areas in their mouth that if you put your hook into it, these nickel hooks, uh, eventually you'll see one that looks like that. Um, it's a catch and release fishery with the bigger drum, so you know, I lose one because I opened up a hook, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. But if you don't get to catch drum very often, yeah, that could be, uh, could be kind of nerve wracking, yeah. So this one, the point is bent out and it's totally opened up so uh it just gives you an idea these are good pretty good jig heads too i like these striper eyes but yeah the big drum will do that just switch it up a little bit oh no oh no that's not what we should have hooked on that little jig I didn't get hook a drum in a minute, so I switched to like this tiny, tiny jig, and I just got drummed. Oh, we're so doomed here. I don't think there's any way we're gonna land this fish on that hook. Did this drift for like another 10 minutes. Yeah. It's got like a number two treble on this jig. It's like that uh, black drum you got. It's not even a, uh, what's it called? It's not even like a saltwater treble. It's like, like a Walmart jig. Why does that always happen to me?
Maybe we got a chance. I feel like he would have popped off by now. If he was gonna do that. I could win this one. Maybe it's that permit you were telling me about. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> you had to say there was a permit around, right? This is the North Carolina run of permit. Apparently, this word on the street. Two citation permit this year, he says. I didn't know there was a citation for permit yet. This has got to be a drum. How much tighter do I go? Can't go any tighter. That's it. Take me, take me around the world, sir. This fish wasn't even on structure, man. them see catch other fish in these areas besides drum so like maybe I'll do a drift or two to start everything off with more drum appropriate stuff but then every now and then as you're doing that I decided to switch off because I've caught pompano here and sheep's head all that other stuff you no know, still had one more drum in the area I guess I, I didn't think I could land the drum on that hook and I should have probably just went to something a little more sturdy but something like whiting or you know catch whiting out here etc the perfect size hook and jig but yeah I learned my lesson all right well myself and the, the gang are headed in um, I seem to struggle on uh, sometimes when it gets too calm it can get just get weird like that like that bite man I caught a bunch of fish in my first hour of fishing then everything got quiet. I call it the curse of booty slick when it gets really slicked out. Sometimes it just gets really uh, tough. Um, that could do with uh, a lot of the currents start to change when it gets really slick. That's been, that's just my opinion of it all. Um, I think that, that lack of current when it gets too slick and you're, you're not moving much seems to sometimes just turn fish off. Maybe it could be wrong, but that's my take on it. This year, October kind of turned into November. Is that a good way to say it? Um, you know, a lot of bait kind of pushed out a little earlier than it might. Um, temps dropped quickly, but you know, they stabilized now. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a different year for the most part. So, well, check the video's description for links to everything we used. I'm gonna ocean fish, weather permitting. I didn't get to do that much this summer. Summer was not the best for that. So yeah, as, as much ocean weather as I get, I'm taking advantage of it. So, all right guys, thank you as always for watching. Um, and I'll catch up with you on the next video.